For many years, Australia has become a major player in the international education markets. At Macquarie University, international students account for approximately 30% of the total student population. As you might have noticed that, our general environment of higher education has been changing, with students becoming more diverse in their social, cultural and educational backgrounds. These student cohorts have not only brought us with substantial economic benefits, but also more and more academic challenges in terms of cross-cultural learning and teaching. From a pedagogical point of view, John Big's work that teaching for quality learning at university has a main theme that quality of teaching should be enhanced by aligning objectives, teaching methods and assessment tasks. Especially in dealing with student diversity, teachers should assimilate students' differences and address the uh, problems and learning ca characteristics. In addition, there is not one all-purpose best teaching method that would fit with student diversity and cultural inclusivity. So the role of a teacher today is to engage their students in teaching activities that are more likely to lead to positive learning outcome and quality learning. However, the impact of environment including teacher-student relationship interaction and student-student relationship and interaction would also affect students' learning and therefore their academic achievements in higher education. So how to create inclusive teaching strategies or teaching activities that will facilitate diverse students to learn and to interact has always been a major concern. To put theory into practice, I've proposed a 3i model of teaching dimension for you to consider about. That is from my previous uh, research projects. When we teach culturally mixed students, we need to think about at least three dimensions of teaching, namely instructional dimension, inspirational dimension, and interactional dimension. I will explain that um, one by one. It's suggested that we need to look at instructional dimension at first. You can also assume this stage as a pre-interaction stage. In this stage, teachers should have a clear idea about what to teach, what's the rationale behind, and what are the expected learning outcomes from your students. In other words, we need to be aware of the backgrounds of our students, such as their countries of origin, their cultural and educational backgrounds, cultural assumptions, expectations, and different learning characteristics and behaviours. Rather than assuming our students have acquired sufficient learning skills such as analysing, summarising and categorising learning materials, teachers need to devote time to delivering factual information to build up students' fundamental knowledge so that our students will be able to comprehend the learning content and be able to apply them to higher order thinking in the later stage when they just do the teaching act activities that you assign them to. So at this stage, students must learn to know. In order to maintain students' motivation and desire to learn, teachers should constantly inspire their students to use the learned knowledge and learn to how to apply that in their real life. So students must learn to do at this stage. So this is the um, inspirational dimension of teaching in which teacher-student relationship and interaction will be enhanced and promoted. And in the meantime, teaching-centered strategies will be shifted to student-centered strategies. 
such as demonstration and co-classroom discussion will be very helpful strategies to facilitate expository teaching. Because when you face many points to be covered in the math lecture, if you can pause for a while to inspire students to answer the questions that you pose to them, that will be very helpful and it will be very interesting. In a final stage of enhancing teacher-student and student-student interaction, teachers should prioritize the teaching strategies that would encourage social interaction through working together. Grouping students to work together to establish a common sense of identity will be very helpful to teach culturally mixed students. The more diverse students communicate with each other, the more cultural understandings they will reach, the less social distance it will exist. So at this stage, students must learn to interact.